Hello, I'm Vanya Gröger, also known as Nechtan, and in this video I will talk about my learning progress on the ankle motion double bass technique. Enjoy! A couple of weeks I already made a video where I started to learn the ankle motion technique. I had already practiced that for a couple of weeks there and was able to hit around 180-190 BPM. And now, some weeks later, I have progressed, but I still haven't reached the result that I actually wanted to reach. And that is because I think I did some exercises uh, in the wrong way or picked the wrong exercises for that that I wanted to learn. During the time of my last video about this topic, I was able to play for I think one or two minutes at 180 BPM, so I thought, okay, my stamina seems to be fine, I have to work on speed. So I tried exactly that. I practiced short bursts at faster tempos like 200 BPM and above and actually it worked better than expected and I made good, pro good progress. So now I am able to do short bursts of like 8 or 16 notes at 220 and even 230 BPM although it's not very not very tight yet. But my goal was to play one minute at 200 BPM. And to be honest, learning these short bursts didn't help at all for that. So I had to go back to slower speeds and I tried to remember what I did with the technique that I already use, my heel toe single strokes, and how I learned that technique. And actually I remembered that I did extreme stamina runs that helped me building up the muscle memory for the correct movement. There's for example a video on my YouTube channel where I play I think for five, min five minutes at 240 BPM. You can watch it here. And also I remembered th that I was playing a lot uh, mid-tempo stuff only with my feet while reading a book. And this approach had helped me a lot in the past and so I tried it now for the new technique. So actually uh, the whole thing is a little bit counterintuitive because you might think that you actually have to practice playing fast to play fast. But that's not the case when you learn a new technique. At least for me this seems to be not the case. I spend much more time now playing at much slower tempos and that has helped me to become much more precise and even much faster. And. Yeah, so this is the, the method that I will use from now on to develop this technique further. I can play like around one minute at 200 BPM now, but it, is, it still gets very sloppy. And again, the problem is not really that my muscles are not strong enough or something, but that I lose coordination. So the problem is more like somewhere in my head. The funny thing is that it is no problem for me to play one minute at 200 BPM with my two feet separately. So yeah, I just have to get this left-right coordination down right. And to work on that it is much more effective to play for very long periods of time at slower tempos. I will now show you a little bit how my progress looks like.
So, that's it for today. I will keep you updated about my, about my progress with the ankle motion technique. And also, I am still preparing the drum cover of Twilight of the Thunder God from Amon Amarth. And I will post it as soon as I am able to play it. Also make sure to check out my freshly available website where you can find for example a short biography and also a list of my drumming equipment. See you next time.